Hello, and welcome to today's video. I'm gonna be showing you four high protein, low calorie snacks today. These snacks are seriously so easy to make and aren't gonna take you but five minutes total to create. And whenever I see videos like this, they're typically like kind of difficult with like 10 million ingredients. Not today. As much as I'd like to, I'm not gonna jerk you around today. Let's get right into it. Starting off with the simplest meal, this is literally three ingredients. You need fat-free cottage cheese, a regular tomato or aroma tomato, and then everything but the bagel seasoning. Now, I've only done this with aroma tomato, so I'm gonna try it with a regular tomato and see, oop, see how that goes. I just don't know how well I'm gonna be able to dig it out. Start by slicing your tomato. Get rid of the good old, oh my God, I'm already, already dripping all over the place. I'm not complaining, but I don't really, I don't really use tomatoes a lot. I don't feel like I'm doing a very good job with this. There we go. So we've got two halves of a tomato now. Let me zoom us in here real quick. There we go. Okay, I grabbed a little empty mushroom plastic tray so I could throw all the innards. We're just gonna take a spoon and scoop. Oh my gosh, these are juicy. Scoop the outside of the tomato out. Now you guys already know where I'm going with this one. Get all of it out, get all that juice out of there. Perfect. Same thing with the other one. Then you have two empty halves of a tomato. Now, I need some making a mess over here already. So that actually worked really well. Um, you can also use aroma tomato, but that worked just fine. Next, we're gonna open our cottage cheese. We've got a brand new one, peel it right open. And then use our scale to measure out our serving size, which is half a cup. And that's what we're doing today. So I need 113 grams split between two just under 60 grams per tomato, half, per half tomato. There we go. So delish. And lastly, it's this easy guys. Sprinkle a little bit of everything but the bagel seasoning right on top, like so. Let me come around, let me show you what these look like. You got two perfect little cottage cheese pockets. Yes, please. Literally such a low calorie, high protein snack and it's delicious. You get a little bit of crunch from the tomato. And the flavor contrast, literally to die for. Wow. So I don't like tomatoes by themselves. I need a little bit of something to jazz them up. Cheese, we all know, is such a good pairing with tomato. Gosh, these are so good. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. If you guys don't know, I'm in prep for a bodybuilding competition. And if you don't know, where have you been? But I haven't eaten a lot today. And these are literally a delicacy right now. So good. The best part about living alone, especially when I do recipe videos, is I'm the only one here to eat it. Ten out of ten. All right, on to the next one. Snack number two. So we're gonna need a half of a can of chunk tuna in water, already out of the can and ready to go in a bowl. You're gonna need one serving of sliced jalapeno peppers, like a third to a half a cup of non-fat plain Greek yogurt, one lightly salted rice cake, and then once again, everything but the bagel seasoning. Do you guys see a pattern? Also a cutting board and a scale if you're into counting your macros, which I literally have to right now. So 
Let's do it. First of all, we're going to grab one serving of sliced jalapenos, which is like 30 grams. Seems like a lot. I'm probably not gonna. Now that I'm thinking about it, I'm only making half a serving, so I'm only going to do half a serving of jalapenos. Um, typically I do one can split between two rice cakes, but once again, I am four weeks out from a bodybuilding competition and just don't have the calories for it right now. Whatever shape, size, and color you would like, we don't discriminate around here. Okay? Slip those right into your bowl with your tuna. As I said, like a third to half of a cup of non-fat plain Greek yogurt. Like 50 grams. There we go. In the bowl. Then we're gonna mix that up. This one's specifically for my ASMR people. Now you have this beautiful high protein concoction of jalapenos, Greek yogurt, and tuna. Who doesn't love opening a brand new pack of rice cakes? Honestly, probably not a lot of people. I just am really enjoying the little things since I'm in prep and super restricted right now. Be ever so gentle so you don't break the rice cake. It is, these are so messy. Can't get around it. All right. Then you're just gonna take your mixture and plop it right on top, like so. Mm. And you know what's coming next. Everything but the bagel seasoning. Oh. How was that? I know, was it good? Probably not. There she is in all her glory ready to be devoured. This one's for, for, this one's for me, okay? The texture is so perfect. Dude, I am such a little slut for texture. Like the crunch with the smooth, creaminess of the tuna concoction, a little bit of spice and crunch from the jalapeno, and then some nice mini crunch texture from the everything bagel seasoning. Dude, that shit's too good. If you don't like spicy, you're more than welcome to do like celery or cucumber. Another like crunchier vegetable is gonna work just fine. But if you don't like spicy, you're kind of Just kidding. So good. What do we got next? Snacky snack number three. Moving on to the sweeter side of things. We're gonna start with a vanilla bean, non-fat Greek yogurt. I'm using Oikos. I just I like the flavor a lot. Oh, I need a spoon. You're gonna plop that right into your bowl. No calorie goes wasted when you're in prep. I'm gonna eat all this. Mm. Next, I'm gonna do a scoop of Orange Dreamsicle ISO 100 by Diamantize. I usually use a vanilla, but I don't have any right now. And I thought this would be actually really freaking good. Because I'm going to put fruit on top of it, so I thought like the fruit and the fruit would, would go well. Guess we're going to find out. But if you want to just use vanilla or chocolate or whatever meets your fancy, you know what? The world is your oyster. So then I'm going to cut up a kiwi and... Unfortunately, I have to measure how much I'm eating once again because I'm in prep. You can you can just top yours with however much fruit you want. I'm gonna cut off the butts first. Kiwi's so cute. It's literally the cutest. 55 grams of kiwi is what I'm going to be doing. How do I want to cut this to make it look nice? 
Also, if you don't eat the skin on your kiwi, you're missing out on loads of nutrients. And once again, ding, 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 texture. So definitely make sure you're eating the skin of your kiwi. Because who doesn't like a hairy, circular, gushy thing in their mouth? You're also going to throw in, I think like 50 grams of banana. Yes, perfect. Chop that right up. So next, we, all you're gonna do is mix this up. And because of the moisture in the yogurt, it mixes up to be like a perfect little like protein pudding. It is literally insane. It's thick and delicious. And I know I want it in my mouth, so. Oh, that smells good. The orange dreamsicle is gonna be a good idea. That is what the consistency looks like when it's all mixed up. So smooth and creamy and delish. Last but not least, you're just gonna top it with some everything but the bagel seasoning. Just kidding, that's disgusting. You're gonna top it with all your cute little fruits. There's literally no fruit that isn't cute, so whatever fruit you like, as I said. This is gonna be my pre-workout snack. Actually, all these snacks are my pre-workout snacks, but look at that beauty. High protein, low calorie, perfect pre-workout snack or post-workout snack, whatever you like. We gotta try this orange dreamsicle. Ooh! Oh my gosh, I really like that. You can seriously do any flavor protein. Vanilla, cinnamon, orange dreamsicle. Mm, mm, mm. I've tried this with a lot of protein flavors. I think that orange dreamsicle is my favorite. That's so good. Our last and final meal is actually my dinner. So if you would, come meet me by the stove. Hello and welcome to the other side of my kitchen and to the late night show. I just got done with the gym, showered up, as you can hear, we've got something sizzling on the stove already. We're going to be making some lettuce wraps. Now, we've all heard of lettuce wraps, but what you put inside the lettuce wrap is what matters. Our ingredients include 99% fat-free turkey breast, romaine hearts as our taco shell, fermented beets. <laughs> you guys might hate me for this, but I love these. Some of the non-fat plain Greek yogurt that we used earlier. Fat-free cheddar cheese. And then the lady of the hour, this everything sauce. I found this at Costco, you guys. This is my second bottle. I've had it for like two weeks and it's almost empty. The macros are immaculate. In two tablespoons, you got three grams of fat, two carbs, and one gram of protein. Delectable. We've got the turkey cooking up. I just put some salt and pepper on it and I like to cook like one side before I mash it up. So it's been cooking here for a bit. I'm gonna separate that. Behold, four ounces of cooked turkey. Now, let's assemble our lettuce wraps. Romaine hearts down. Gonna add some turkey to each. Ah! It's a little difficult, a little tricky, being naughty little pieces of lettuce. Next, we need a little bit of our non-fat Greek yogurt. This is pretty much like a, a good alternative for sour cream. Um, it has that like sour cheesy taste, which is perfect, and it's a lot less calories. I mean, you can also get like low-fat sour cream if this weirds you out, but prep life gonna add a little bit of my fermented beets on top. These also add some great color to your food, which we love pretty food. And they taste so good. I don't know what it is about this, but I found it at Fry's and I just fell in love. Top with a little bit of fat-free cheese. This is not staying in my wrap very well, but that's all right. We'll make do. And then, some everything sauce. 
Boom. Boom. Look at those. Beautiful. I'm so hungry right now, guys. I give it a good old taste test. Dude, eating my hair. <laughs> ah, and making a mess. Seriously, so many flavors in here. And obviously it's not gonna be good as like a tortilla or like an actual taco, but it's a great alternative. And the texture just gets me every time. Mmm. All right, guys, that is gonna do it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope if you try some of these meals that you enjoy them, that you love them, that you think they're as delicious and easy to make as I do. If you do try them, let me know in the comments. Give the video a like, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you in the next one.